Hi again everyone, this is Sharif. This is uh, GNS3 connected to the internet part 2. In this part I'm going to show you how to synchronize your router clocks with an NTP server on the internet. And also I'm going to show you how to advertise your RIP route to the Windows routing table. So let's begin. The first thing is I'm going to show you how to synchronize your clocks. First thing we have to see here is show clock as you can see it's the default clock on the router it comes uh, Friday March 1st uh, 2002 so to synchronize our clocks with real time I'm gonna go into the global configuration mode I'm gonna type NTP server and uh, I'm gonna type the server IP address, actually I can't remember it so here it goes uh, 66.27.60.10 actually I think this is Microsoft's server it belongs to Microsoft so we saw here that the clock was set to uh, Friday March 1st 2002 after we issue this command if I type show clock again still isn't synchronized yet as you can see here it's set to Thursday July 30th 2009 so this can automatically synchronize I don't know the intervals but it automatically corrects the clock so you can put it in a notepad and every time you start a lab you can use this command just as soon as you get in the lab and the lab is connected to the internet as we show in part one it automatically synchronizes the clock it's uh, very useful in uh, policy based routing in authentication between routers like in EIGRP it can be very useful so the second thing is I'm going to show you how to uh, advertise your RIP routes into the Windows routing table so this is the command prompt in Windows and I'm going to type route print as you can see here this command shows me my interfaces here I have the loopback adapter here I have uh, my wireless adapter and other adapters that uh, belongs to IP version 6 like Toretto also it shows me here my IP version 4 route table so this is what Windows sees when it starts looking for networks uh, I have a gateway here to the internet through my wireless interface it has the metric, the gateway, and then metmask it has everything also you can see here that I already enabled RIP listener to see if there's a RIP advertisement sent by anyone connected to Windows so you can see here it's listening to this channel on these three interfaces which is the loopback and uh, the wireless adapter has the three interfaces here listening to RIP so now to show you how you can enable RIP listener in Windows you'll go to the control panel program and features which is add or remove programs and Windows XP and turn Windows features on and off You'll find it here, RIP listener. Okay, but in Windows XP, you'll find it under another menu, like a sub menu, like this one. I can't remember which one exactly, but y you'll find it. It's easy uh, to find, of course. All you have to do is just check this checkbox, press OK. Now, go back to our router here. 
So now Windows is listening to all its interfaces for uh, RIP advertisements. So I have here on my router, now I'm going to type show IP interface interface brief. You can see here I have a loopback adapter on my uh, router. Also I have fast ethernet which is connected to the cloud which actually, actually is the loopback interface in Windows. So I'm gonna go to the global configuration mode. I'm gonna type router rip and I'll start to advertise these two networks. First network is 192.168.137.2 It doesn't matter if you write the last octet because anyway it's class C and RIP this is RIP version 1 so technically it doesn't care and the other network is 200.200.200.1 the same here it doesn't care for the if you typed it 0 if you typed it any number it doesn't care so again as this is the windows routing table before advertising the rip routes so if we issue the command here again dot print so th as you can see here it advertised the network 200 to 200 to 200.0 with this subnet mask and the gateway was 192 to 168 to 137.2 which technically is the fast ethernet on our router and it has the metric here of 32 so if we try to ping it ping 100 to 200 100 but one as you can see it has successful things for successful things so I hope this uh, was useful and hope to see you again thank you